Are your kids struggling with geometry, specifically with learning about three-dimensional geometry while doing it from a two-dimensional flat sheet of paper? This can be a real challenge. So let's take a look at how to do something simple. This is something we start with when we start to take a look at how flat shapes can be folded into three-dimensional shapes that take up 3D space. <laughs> and so we're gonna take a look at the cube. And so this is a great introduction to this type of geometry. So let's get started. I'm gonna take you down to my desk and we're gonna look at how to easily find the surface area of a cube. You're gonna be able to do this in less than eight minutes. One of the things I want you to notice is how many sides does a cube have? These are all cubes, yep. They all have, and if you look at the die I have here, they, the numbers go up to six. So there are six sides. And what's really unique about a cube is that every side is the same. So if there are six sides, does it make sense that if we figure out how much space this side takes, what the area is of this face, we can simply multiply it by six to figure out what the total surface area is. So by the way, if you're new to surface area, all it is is it's the measure of how much space is needed to cover the outside of a three-dimensional shape. And for a cube, we're in luck because all six sides are the same. So let's take a look at just one of the faces. Okay, so I have a square, and the neat thing about a square is it's a shape that has four sides that are all the same. So if I tell you this side is three inches, this side is also three inches. We call that congruent, same size, same shape, okay? And if I wanna know what is the area, it simply means how much space does it take up on the paper, okay? So area is length times the height. So my area, we'll call it A, it's going to be the length is three inches. Those little tick marks mean inches. And the height is the same as the length, okay? Three times three is nine. Inches times inches gives you square inches. And we write it like that with a little two. So that's the area of one of the sides. Since a cube has six sides, I would take this area of one of the faces and simply multiply it by six. So total SA stands for surface area is six times the area of one of the faces, which for us it's nine inches squared. Six times nine is 54 square inches. And that is the surface area of a cube that is three inches on a side. Now, by the way, if your student has been struggling with math and you'd like them to learn math the easy way where steps are laid out very simply in a logical sequence and it makes sense, I encourage you to join a free entire math class that I'm giving. There's a link in the description for it or in, also in the comments or you can register simply by going to getmath.net slash learn. Okay, let's get back and do more examples for this concept. What if a cube is 10 centimeters on a side? I tell you that it is a cube, and we want to know what is the surface area? How much paint do we need to paint this cube? Imagine we're making like a thousand of them. <laughs> I have to make sure we have enough paint, right? Just for one. So if I have a 10 centimeter cube, how much surface area are we applying? Okay, are we applying paint to? So let's just take a look at calculating the area of just one of the faces, and then we'll multiply it by how many faces we have because they're all the same. Okay, so for one of the faces, you can draw it out. It's 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters because a cube is a bunch of squares put together. Okay, so my area here, not, I'm not, uh, surface area is usually referred to a three-dimensional object. When it's just two dimensions like this, like just a square, we just call it area. This is going to be the length times the width or the height, okay, whichever one you're given. So my area is 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters, okay, and that's going to be equal to 100 square centimeters, okay. All right, now if you're thinking, why don't we just multiply that by the other 10? So if this is 10, this is 10, this is also 10. 
If I multiply 10 by 10 by 10, I get volume. So that's not what I want to do. I want to know not how much three-dimensional space it takes up, but how, how much is there just of the surface on the outside, you know, as if we were going to paint it or cover it with something <laughs> or live on it. Okay, so my total surface area is going to be the number of faces, which is 6 times 100 centimeters squared. And you can see that is 600 square centimeters. This is also how you know it's area, not volume. Volume would be centimeters cubed. Okay. And so there you have it for our cube. All right. Let's try a cube that has the lid that's been removed. Okay. So I have a cube here and I can take this off. So I want to know what's the surface area, the outside surface area. Now, I don't have to paint this side. So how many faces are you seeing now? Yet yeah. one, two, three, four, five, and that's it. Okay, so now let's do this. This is going to be an open box, open container. Okay, and I'm going to draw it like this, just like a cube, but then I'm going to put this in here, okay, to indicate that inside, okay, so we have an open cube and each side is seven millimeters. It's a really small one. Okay. All right. So I want to know the total surface area. So let's just do it for one of the squares, one of the faces. Okay. So it's seven millimeters by seven millimeters. Seven. Uh, so uh, the area is going to be the length times the height. Area is the length times the width, whatever you've got here. So I'm going to take this one, the length, and then the height here, which is this one right there. So I have 7 millimeters times 7 millimeters, and that's going to be 49 square millimeters. Okay, and now I want the total surface area, but remember we only have five sides this time, not six because it's an open cube. So we have five faces times 49. Okay. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to grab a calculator and say five times 49. So I have 245 square millimeters. Can you see how you'd need less paint if you had one less face? <laughs> and that's it. That's how you would calculate the surface area of a cube. So if your kids have been struggling with math and frustrated by it, been bored, or even decided that they don't even like it, and you know this can be a totally different experience for them, I encourage you to try one of my free math classes. You can register totally free of charge using the link in the description and also it's in the comment box, or you can simply go to getmath.net slash learn to join me for a math class that your kids are going to enjoy and have a lot of fun with.